Hi guys and welcome back to another video from me. So in today's case, I am going to try to fix a problem that I created by using WD-40 to clean my disc brakes. In the rains, my bike's been standing for about 20 days and I noticed a thin layer of rust had formed on the section of the disc brake which is, uh, you know, uh, just under the uh, bushes over here. So I cleaned it and after that what I realized is WD-40 is a lubricant basically and <laughs> the disc brakes refuse to work as efficiently as it did. To do a lot of cleaning after which the brakes actually started working a little but of course it's not up to the mark. Then I looked up some videos. I found another person who had done a similar mistake. However, he did not post a video of what was the solution to fix the problem that it created for himself. So the solution it seems is this 3M high power brake cleaner. I got it for 345 rupees on Amazon and let's see if it works. It's supposed to be far better at cleaning disc brakes. It is a purpose built solution. I do wear some safety gear for using this so I'm basically covering my eyes with my specs and covering my mouth with my mask and let's see how it goes. I'm supposed to use ample amount of this solution so I've got this up on my paddock stand so that I can you know clean it liberally from both sides as far as possible mm. okay smell is pretty strong okay I'm hoping that should be enough I'll go to the front one because I messed up the front brake as well so Don't tell me I finished the solution. Okay, looks like I did. As you found out yesterday, this brick cleaner can is only 75 grams and it ran out of gas as soon as I completed the first disc brake. The disc brake cleaning happened pretty well. I tested the bike afterwards and I cannot show you this on the video but when I feel the disc brake uh, rotors with my finger it, the, it, uh, the texture of the disc brake is you can feel it really well. On the front one however I was not able to clean and it still feels very smooth. So this is the one which I'm gonna try to clean today. So here's the story. This is a 3M product and so I went to a nearby 3M dealer, a shop basically, workshop where they offer all the services for a car and they told me a story that uh, this product is not available at their store, it is available only online. Also the company is uh, shutting down production for these, sales for these in India. So the only stock that we will find is going to be online. We will not be able to find it in any store. Uh, he did ask me to see if some nearby accessory shop might have it. And I did try to check it out. Spent uh, three to four different 
यू नो लुब्रिकेंट शॉप्स आहे हे ट्रॅव्हल टू स्पेंड अबाउट अन आर वे यू नो इट्स अ वेस्ट बिकॉज आय डिडंट फाईंड इट ऑल दीज शॉप्स वर रेकमेंडिंग डब्ल्यू डी फॉर्टी विच इज प्रायमरली द रीझन वाय आय गॉट इन टू दिस सिच्युएशन अँड अल्टिमेटली आय वेंट ऑन टू ॲमेझॉन ट्राय टू फाईंड इट ऑन ॲमेझॉन इट इज ऑल्सो आउट ऑफ स्टॉक सो देन आय सेल लेट्स ट्राय डिफरंट प्रोडक्ट and this time i got this stp heavy duty brick parts cleaner stp is also a renowned company throughout the world and the difference is this is a 75 gram pack this one is a 500 ml pack so definitely contains a lot more juice so let's try this one now the difference between these two is i'm not sure if you can see this one is made in spain and this one is made in our india don't know if that will make any difference with respect to quality but as far as the quality goes this one cleaned my brake very well it's very effective now and as far as this is concerned as long as it does the same or better job at least the same amount of cleaning i'm going to be happy about it so let's start on both the cans they say spray liberally and that is exactly what i did but i didn't realize that spraying liberally would mean that in one go the can would be finished so hopefully this one will be better i'm spraying as liberally as I can I'll do the same for the rear brake as well just for good measure I've seen videos online that this is how actual mechanics and you know, car care people do the cleaning so hopefully it should be fine as well okay should do about it and now let's just give it a few minutes to you know dry off okay so i've let it set for a while and as indicated on the can i'm going to wipe the discrotas now let me see okay feels good but this one was anyways feeling good let me see the front one which was not able to clean the last time i don't know man <laughs> can't say that i'm sure still feels pretty smooth let me clean it a little bit vigorously to see if, it, if that will help I'll definitely put some texture to my fingers over there okay let's take it for a ride Hi guys so I have come at the back here to an open road where I can safely test the braking after I have sprayed the brake cleaner on the disc brake rotors of the bike I had to spray it at least around 3 times and I think it's become pretty effective now 
so the plan is i will take it up to a significant speed and then we'll test the braking so let's see let's go That went pretty well, didn't it? So I guess that's pretty much it. Both the brake cleaners were pretty effective. I think the 3M one was of course far more effective. In one spray, it cleaned the brakes. The STP, I needed to spray it at least three times. The can is almost empty. But I think my brakes are back, so that's what counts. So I guess until the next time, I will see you again. Thanks for watching guys.